<laughs> they say that coconut chicken curry just dances off the tongue, which is fantastic. But the thing is, we have to focus on dancing as itself, all right? So it's not just a feeling dancing. No, you have to express yourself with your hands, all right? It's spoken language. Your body has to express through movement and gesture. And if you love contemporary dance, you will love this incredible piece. Uh, the Anderson Carvalho Dance and Choreography, also known as ACDC, will take you on a magical journey of expression and feeling with a show called Dance Intersect 2024, the premiere of Silent Symphony of Feelings. And with us today, as I dramatically say, is Farnal Smart, assistant choreographer and rehearsal manager, and Adam Clausen, performer and composer, joining us for an intro into what dance not is, but what it can be. Hello. Was that dramatic enough? I just wanted, I'm kind of auditioning a little bit in a way, if you don't mind. Very dramatic. Very Thank dramatic. you. That's what I wanted out of this whole thing. I'm so glad both of you understand me. But in terms of dance intersect as a concept, it's quite unique because yeah. intersect speaks to breaking through a path that's going a certain way. Is that the deliberate uh, name for this particular dance intersect 2024? Yeah, no, um, I mean, Dance Intersect is in its third year this year. Lovely. And um, Dance Intersect is really just a platform for a really just diverse um, choreographers coming together and sharing their experiences all on one stage and one platform. This is fantastic. So the intersecting of different ideas, yeah. different angles as to what dance should be, which is fantastic. Different disciplines too, yeah. Well, well for you as a, a performer and a composer as well, the disciplines don't only you know, extend to dance, there's also the music attached to the dance, which is equally as important. So for you, Absolutely. what does dance intersect? What does that give to you in terms of this particular event? Well, it's a really collaborative event, right? Yep. So to create the music, we had a lot of um, recordings made by the dancers. They gave us voice memos wow. and different recordings of their environments, and I incorporated that into the music. So that's one way that everything kind of inter intersects in this particular program. Are you saying that they voice noted you and then you added them into the music? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Do they do like those five minute voice notes that you have to go to times two on or is it just like oh, no. the... Okay, good. I mean, there, there's a lot of editing. There's a lot of effects put in there. But, I can um, imagine. Yeah. Because I noticed that, you know, voice notes, they become very long these days. They become kind of... tedious. Yes, they do. They do. <laughs> yeah. But then it becomes a podcast after yeah. a while. It was a couple uh, of hours of material to work through. But I uh, can only yeah. imagine. That's how it goes. <laughs> but in terms of the dancers themselves, you know, uh, let's let's look at, you know, where they, where they come from, how you've brought them all together and invited them to Dance Intersect. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a really, really diverse cast this year. We have dancers from South Africa, Poland, the UK, the US. Wow. So really, it's, um, I think our Cape Town audience are, audiences are really in for a treat. This is going to be great. Yeah. Tickets, where can we get them? On web tickets. Lovely. So web tickets, uh, we just, you just search Dance Intersect. Our performances are the 6th, 7th and 8th of June. And this will be at the back of the theatre. It's, it's incredible, and I must encourage every single individual, remember that there's so much culture in watching the art of dance. I want you to just bathe in it, enjoy it, take a friend, take the entire family and support the dance industry as a whole because when it comes to the arts, we have to protect it for you know with all that we can because this is how you watch something come to life, how you feel inspiration and choreography and music intersect in the most beautiful way possible. And let's get a taste over here. Your hard work cannot go unnoticed. Yeah. Let us notice the hard work right now while we grab our tickets. What do you have you have an offer? Because apparently this features some of your voice notes that you got, right? Well, their voice notes. <laughs> their voice notes. <laughs> yes. Well, let's, let's do a proper introduction to the piece we're about to see. Okay, so this piece you're about to see is an extract from the work and performing it now will be Gemma Traherne and Nicola, Nicholas Loebscher. <laughs> 